is um, I was born in a family of academicians. Okay, and yeah. the other side of the family where I came in were all scientists. And yeah. and my parents incidentally have named me Sri Lakshmi. And I was surrounded by Saraswati all the time in my life. So I said, "What is it that I, mean, I have to do? Some some justice to my name, right?" And that was one big thing that I said, "Okay, I am going to become an entrepreneur." Because in my household, if I did a PhD, it had no meaning at all. You know, like, "Okay, this is the bare minimum we expect from you." So doing a PhD, postdoc, or any other thing was of no value. I'm not saying they were not proud of me, but it was not like something. to be really really looked up to okay oh my daughter is this or my daughter is that or i come into a household like that so that is where i wanted to create something different and i said okay none of you are in business i will go in business and if i am successful at least i'll have some name at least now nobody else at least my own family will have some respect for me <laughs> and uh, that was the funny part of the uh, funny part of the entrepreneurship that i got into but uh, to be serious about it Well, I did my PhD postdoc and went off to Canada. In Canada, I was working on Pfizer projects actually. Yeah. And as a scientist, when I was working, I realized it very quickly that you know, unless you know the overall picture of the project, uh, there is no point. It was just sitting on the uh, table and doing the reactions or whatnot. Well, as a chemist, I was doing that part, right? So uh, that led me to get into the business side of the business side of the uh, pharma uh, that uh, pharmaceutical industry that I was in, and I went off to do my MBA in uh, uh, specialization called technology and commercialization. So as a scientist, I could understand the science behind it, but as a commercial part, which was missing, is what that MBA actually got me to. And when you do. do the pa mba the next big thing you think you'll be the next ambani zaron and which is a dumb thing to think but then you want to do something different and they were that was the same time when actually parents were not ready to move but they were getting old so that brought me back to india and i started my first venture called trifis pharmaceutical in for i i i actually figured out that there is a market pain in the area of probiotics 2008 9 was the time that we were working on that I uh, we I came back to India and I realized that there is a um, uh, market pain of probiotics that these were only in the cold chain. So yeah. if you see Yakult, it is in the fridge. If you see uh, Curd, it is in the fridge. If you yeah. see any of those other things that were where the probiotics could be easily available, yeah. that were all in the fridge or in the temperature between two eight, two to eight degrees. Yes. And that market pain, when we identified, I started working on it, and my entrepreneurial journey started. Yeah. In 21, I exited uh, because we we were able to. I exited actually successfully out of five phase, both in the terms of valuation as well as in the terms of uh, uh, getting a lot of patents, patents yeah. in US, Canada, European countries, yeah. India, Japan, whatnot. Yeah. And that brought me to the next venture, which is uh, right now that I am involved into. It's called AA Probix. Now again, this journey also I need. I wanted to start in B two C. and so a um, b2c is where uh, i got into it and i started this journey so yeah here i am with my probiotic gummies and uh, different types of gummies that i make uh, nutraceutical gummies and some more new research that i'm looking forward to